Hello, everybody. It's Mrs. Pound. We are starting a new chapter today, Chapter 21 on Incoming sub Substances from BJU Biology's fourth edition. This chapter will be about the respiratory and digestive systems. So we're going to start with the respiratory system in Section 21A. Our objectives will be to describe the functions of the respiratory system structures and explain how gases are exchanged in the lungs. So first, let's talk about the anatomy of the respiratory system. First, we have the nose. That's where we breathe in air. We also can breathe from our mouth, but um, we're going to start with the nose. Now, in the back of your mouth, there is something called the palate. And you can see uh, in this second picture, especially in the third over here, there is a hole in the palate. And the palate has a very special function. It separates the mouth cavity from the nasal cavity. This is to prevent like food from going up your nose, which can still happen at times. But like I said, it is to prevent that. The posterior part of the palate ends at the uvula. The uvula is that little thing that hangs down in the middle of your throat, and it actually has a function as well. The uvula prevents food, food from entering the nasal cavity. Now, let's talk about the pharynx and the larynx. The pharynx is usually called your throat. This area here is your pharynx, and uh, it goes from your nasal cavity and your mouth to this area right here. Beyond that is the larynx right here. That is your voice box that contains your vocal cords that allows you to speak. So that is the larynx. Now, let's talk about the trachea and bronchi. The trachea, after air goes through the larynx, which is right here, it goes into the trachea. This is a tube supported by cartilaginous rings that begins at the larynx. And it has those rings so that that tube does not collapse. Just before entering the lungs, the trachea branches into two bronchi. So these are the bronchi. Um, this is what gets all irritated and inflamed and mucousy when you have bronchitis. So the bronchi, one goes to each lung. Now, the lungs... The lungs are where gas exchange takes place, and that takes place in what are called the alveoli, which are microscopic sacs in the lungs where blood exchanges gases. And you can see these are microscopic. You would only see them under a microscope. Very tiny. They look like bunches of grapes, and they are covered with blood vessels called capillaries. And so those ones coming in, the blue ones, are... Uh, have a lot of carbon dioxide in the blood that's going to be released. And the red ones are where oxygen goes in to be carried to the rest of the body. So that happens at these alveoli. Also, another important structure of the lungs is the pleura. And this is the membrane that covers the lungs. So there is a membrane, and you can see this membrane over here just covering the left lung that is labeled, there is a special layer over the lungs to protect them. So our objectives were to describe the functions of the respiratory system structures and explain how gases are exchanged in the lungs. Don't forget to write your five questions in your margin, and I'll be back with another video to talk more about the respiratory system.